yeah okay all right folks uh, Balian here I'm gonna talk about a bit about the uh, your zombie walk okay and we're gonna analyze the um, a footage from uh, the walking dead okay and I'm gonna minimize this minimize that and you guys know the classic uh, uh, notes that I've used in the past for a walk cycle has always been contact and, re and opposite contact to down to passing and up. For this, it's kind of interesting because now we're talking about a zombie, right? A zombie is not going to walk in the traditional sense of these five poses, okay? So what I want to do is accentuate is, oops, I don't think that's going to work my hotkey there. I want to work on the contact and the passing with you guys to make this happen, okay? And I'll explain why in a second. And here's a, a, a rig from Sony uh, that I used. And here's what I have. And notice here, I have my first contact pose right here. Okay, I'll just maximize that, for example. And you know, like, and what did I base this on? I based it on the uh, footage here. And we're gonna talk about that. And I wanna tell you about the importance of the contact and the passing pose, especially for a zombie walk, okay? So watch how cool this is. This, there's a lot of things we're gonna learn from this, starting here, and pay attention down here. Notice, um, we're very lucky to have this footage here from the Walking Dead. And notice a couple things. I'm just gonna play it frame by frame so you guys can see, there's a passing pose. This is almost a contact pose right there. Boom, 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 passes, goes forward, forward, and then boom, hits again. So I'm assuming and I'm, I'm saying that this is the second contact, okay? So uh, that's right there. What's interesting for me is if I press play for a second, okay? And you'll notice that this character has uh, his shoulders in basically um, camera right or stage right here is high. This stage left here maybe is low. So watch this again. I'm gonna back up a sec. Notice a couple of things. Head tilted the entire time. It's not bobbing left, right. So basically if I drew a line here, his head was is not coming over, bobbing right to left. It's basically maintaining that side. Also the shoulders up. So that's kind of cool. I'm learning this from the back view. How cool is that? So if I press play here, Okay, I should really lower that volume. I love that sound. Okay, so we got some good footage here, and now he's gonna. I'm gonna move up a bit, wait, waiting for him to come across again, and it's gonna be a medium shot coming. Oh, even better, right here. Oh, oh, love it. Look from behind again. So if I back up here, okay, so check that out. This could be right about here. Maybe a. Oops, I've gone too far. This could be a contact there. Okay, but let's just watch frame by frame by frame. Now he's going to go to the passing. So he's got the foot at an angle, a little bit uh, tilted, rotated to the this way. Okay, um, and then boom. So here is the actual passing right here. Okay, but it's kind of weird. Like we know that if we were going to be passing, our hip is going to be on this side, the weight. So there's a lot of rules that are broken. That's why I think this is a fun exercise for you guys in grade 12. I'm not expecting anybody to do a perfect walk cycle. That would be um, monster. Uh, anyway, that would be just unrealistic for anybody in high school. But what I want you to do is be strong, be, um, be, follow a good workflow and the good workflow means we find our poses and then we apply it in Maya okay so check this out right here so this is kinda cool that's on an angle this is passing so now it's going forward pop hits and then here's the other passing coming now watch from the front the the knees are are bent in so this is relaxed the shoulder is somewhat even here because it's kinda passing but look it's really here look again as he lands contact that angle is there. Now watch the head for a second. Ding, 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 right here. Still at that angle. Really remarkable acting. These guys must have a strong core. Look at this. Okay, one, two, three, pass. Over, contact. Boom, land, down, basically. This is the down position. And there we go with the, like this could be another contact here. And then check it out, passing. So what I'm asking you guys is to find a pose that you like okay so for example here's what I'm seeing here right I can make this if I want uh, a contact pose right here so um, the the hip is rotated to the front B 
beating this leg the shoulder is rotated opposite direction so we know that rotate so the right shoulder here this one here is towards the camera and the head is on this angle this is good stuff right so if I'm just going to take a command shift 4 for a second let me just take a screen grab of this like that maybe I'll open up sketchbook pro and I'll uh, bring this image in right now will take not too long so file add image really fast let's go to desktop this we just took okay there it is what I'll do right now right off the bat I'll reduce the opacity on it lock it make a new layer okay and let's just draw over this have fun with it okay pick a color a nice bright orange maybe hey mm. okay anyhow here it is my uh, of course I need a new layer pop right there okay so off this way the shoulder is turning towards us the hip is turning towards us and it is in contraposto look this is high that's there where's the head look at this nice curve that's a beautiful curve okay and here's my head and it's maintaining and I'm gonna use a bunch of different colors here so you guys can see this and I'm gonna make this a lot thicker maybe I should use a marker there we go so look that angle is nice it stays like that for a long time okay the other thing I'm going to do is show you here with a different color let's go with blue um, and then check out the knees in in out out on an angle here on an angle there really good stuff so as a starting pose this is kind of cool now if we want a good strong silhouette I may decide to bring his arm here and a wrist there this one is good like that okay so that's awesome awesome so I have this here got that angle this angle so keep that in mind this is part of your analysis right so what I did is that when I had Maya open here for the first frame and I did my version of it and somewhere over here folks I do have another yeah I took the keys myself oops this is zombie walk keys movie okay open with QuickTime Pro somewhere here player 7 okay so for me if I just go to frame by frame here this is my first post right there so what I'll do is I'll just crank this up here I'll just go like that or you guys can go command 3 and it, it kind of brings it in place so roughly I took this as my I think here where is it somewhere there that's my first post okay so look at it here in Maya so roughly I interpret this is looking this way I open the mouth and the angle here is high this is this way so again just like my sketch contraposto and uh, that is frame one believe it or not this is on the ground it looks right now floating it's not it's actually on the ground okay so I worked on my arc I worked on a curve here so maybe I'll, I'll get the grease pencil for you guys to see pop one here so again we'll do the same things here so let's see what we have we have this angle here boom oh of course show uh, grease pencil somewhere here where did you go maybe it's up here lights textures motion trails grease pencil there okay there we go so we go come on grease pencil is this not oh well, maybe I should be in the right one that should be here okay so it should work <laughs> my luck okay let's just go to front view orthographic front okay zoom in you know like that okay there that's better okay so are you serious I do it one more time thanks Maya show grease pencil how about we just go show all and see what happens here wow okay I'm gonna hide the bones forget the joints mm-hmm okay so let's try drawing again here we have a key there it is I have my marker so angle great when you have something technical difficulties of not showing this so I'll leave it be I'll say bye bye to grease pencil and delete the key oh here did I create a key okay so I have this here I'm gonna turn everything off again show none come over here boom I'm gonna put nerve curves on polygons and grease pencil let's see if this is going to work okay so just stay with me imagine what I'm doing okay guys I'm sorry but I'm gonna turn off the nerve curves here and 
I'm supposed to have a key here and it's not letting me. So basically what I do, follow my pencil here. It basically I have the arc, I have this one that way, just like in the drawing I made earlier in Sketchbook Pro. Okay, so it was something like this. So I've got that nice curve here, the C curve. Got the head on a tilt, shoulder high, hip opposite, knees coming down a bit. Okay, so that's my first pose. And this is kind of, um, it's too bad this isn't working. So this is my interpretation of it. And he's looking down. Maybe I can fix that later. Okay, so I'll just go over here. I got to get out of this. Okay, bye bye. So here's the head rotation. Press e. What I like to do is select it here and just only look at it in the camera view and maybe I can have it turning like that. That's my first pose. Looking down a bit more to the side. Good. Disengage basically. Right? I had my own play on the fingers. I'm not certainly I'm not 100% happy, but I do have my my knee in somewhat. Let's spin around here. Let's figure out which one's which. And there's in uh, pole vectors. Okay, so that one's good. Let's go with the other one. Where's my other pole vector? Oh, somewhere over here. This is the knee control, very important. So look, so that would be kind of stronger, okay? So play around, look at your side view, take your time, get this first pose to work, okay? And then I'm just gonna um, go to the next frame for you. So this is my passing. So if you look here, the passing will be there, like that. So boom, back, two. This is my passing, and then land, okay? So if you look at this, I did basically here, all I did, is uh, let me just expand that here so you can see now so I lifted it and passing that's kind of the traditional method right so I have the passing I did that version I moved the arm out a bit I rotated the wrist a touch on this side and on the right and I kept this angle working for some reason okay that worked for me so <laughs> glutton for punishment let's try that again so this stays oh look at that <laughs> it's working people so look over there that angle that angle here so this here and and the center in order for me to go that way to go this way I need to move the hip right so that's a couple of the things that I worked on here I'm gonna get out of the grease pencil in a second okay so for me to lift this leg I have to shift technically as a human being I have to I don't know how this guy did it he didn't he didn't go too far over but for us to make it look okay watch what we have one two lift and it's going down so it goes choop, choop, down lift down so I did passing on both sides I did the first contact pass land pa um, pick up here and just as to, and then here's my actual passing right there so I'll show you right now I just did an extra key so I did a weight shift here so look here's contact opposite contact contact passing okay so there's that passing you can see here and in the meantime in order for me to lift this foot I had to go up on the Y here so if you look down here waiting 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 so TY <laughs> oh boy, got some extremes here. Um, and I'm going to go to side to side, TX. So here, watch this. This is my neutral position here, basically contact. Here's my um, center of gravity. It's almost neutral. Okay. And then for me to lift, I go to the right a bit. So there it is, it goes up. This is a, a land on the other side, so it goes down. Maybe it's a little too much, so I'll just bring that over a touch like that cool and then all I did here the next pose it's not a real pose it's kind of like a in between here I just had him um, pivot the ankle before he lifts okay so this is not a, a true pose here and this is my pass here so look so it goes from there boom lift over there's my pass so I have two passing positions here's my opposite contact I don't like the way this is right now maybe I should bring him forward more okay there you go brought him forward more I'm happy with that another thing I noticed in class for you guys you're having issues with uh, okay I'm gonna take my stylus off here bring this back whatever here we go okay Control A. bring this back over here and come on that didn't work that well I'll move it over okay 
So notice that some of you are not using the full um, controller here. So remember how I created a, a controller here, a button? So I did S for this. I went forward one key. I pressed S again. And then basically all I did is I moved them forward from the center here and I brought them up a touch for that. And then I changed the, the wrist and the arm over here. The head, I kept sure that it's still looking on this angle. I moved the arm rotation here a touch wrist rotation and press S again okay so here S again okay S forward press period S period S period S period S okay and then I'll do that so I'm gonna come back here and delete my uh, grease pencil press uh, somewhere here say X see you later okay so I don't know why this is doing this to me today I want to bring this back in here there we go, whatever. Oh boy, I think this is good enough for you guys. Uh, while you're working, please remember all I'm asking for right now is contact, passing, contact. Okay, passing, contact. Okay, so look at this passing. This doesn't look right in a sense. In order for me to pass, I need to go over like that a touch, okay? So I'm looking at my Z here. Uh, translate and eventually it's going to be one diagonal line so this has gone too far over so I press W here grab this here and bring it down X I mean W yeah just a bit okay so I have to keep that in this diagonal direction you can talk about it in class sorry about the technical difficulties today guys this is kinda bizarre for me come on it's not it's not going in my uh, let's go to animation okay it's different again. Okay. I'll just go to my three pane here. Okay. Million panes coming up. This version is driving me nuts, actually. Okay. See ya. I think this is enough for a theory for you guys. I went too long. Valiant out. 16 minutes. See ya.